Today, I don't think there's an interview that I've been in, in the last uh, year or so where somebody didn't raise their hand and say, are we going to have solar panels on the roof of our project? And the answer is usually no, because they don't make sense from a cost-benefit standpoint. But there are a lot of things that do make sense. Not the politically correct things that you'll sometimes see in some of the, the green stewardship programs that are out there uh, in, the, in the secular world, but there are some things that absolutely make sense for churches and schools to think about. And so we want to talk about the kinds of things that we're going to be bringing in here. Uh, things like Cortec panels. We use a wall panel system that goes up very quickly, but it's extremely energy efficient. Uh, the, the kinds of window systems that we choose for a building are huge in terms of heat gain and heat loss. So th those are good places for us to spend a little bit of extra of our capital that we have available. Uh, certainly things like the roofing materials that we use for a building, just the color of the roof can greatly affect the energy performance of a building. So we want to be thinking intelligently about those things. And they ought to be thought through very early on in the process because they need to be budgeted if we're going to spend a little money in those areas. Uh, other things, too, that are free are things like orientation. How do we gather space and how do we orient space to, to take the, the best access to solar gain and solar loss or heat loss? Our, our systems, uh, our Linux systems, are huge things for us. We talked a little bit about the control systems with the Linux uh, energy units. Um, Control systems are not oftentimes available on simple rooftop package units. So we want to make sure that we, we are involved with systems that have those kinds of controls. Things like plasma air systems. You can, you can uh, look at an energy analysis on a building today, and energy today is largely not controlled in a room like this based on what the envelope is constructed as. It's largely controlled by the fresh air need for a building dictated by the code. When ASHRAE came in in 1990 and imposed the kinds of fresh air standards that, that are good. We want fresh air in a room like this, otherwise I'd be up here talking and, and uh, there would be people sleeping with their heads down on the table if we didn't have fresh air. So we want fresh air, but at the same time we need to understand how do we treat that fresh air intelligently. And so the plasma air units uh, takes care of that issue and, and helps us solve that in an energy efficient way. Uh, Lindab ductwork, we found that Lindab ductwork, the old ductwork systems are putting in uh, field fabricated ductwork where you put duct tape or you put plasticizing agents on the joints, uh, it's a cheap system to go in, it's pretty good, but about five years from now, those joints start to crack and become brittle and leak, and you're losing 20 to 30 percent of your, your paid for energized air to your interstitial space. And you as an owner, you're thinking, boy, energy is really expensive these days. And the truth of the matter is, is you're losing 20 or 30 percent of your energy through the interstitial space of your building that's never reaching the, the area that you intend. The Lindab ductwork goes in for, for a little bit more upfront cost in terms of the material cost, but it's much faster to erect and it has a neoprene seal that doesn't degrade over the, the short life of, of a building. It stays intact and we're not losing 20 or 30 percent pressure loss to the interstitial space. So again, let's think through those issues, and if we can involve the subcontractor in those discussions and educate them, because very few subcontractors have put it in, we can help them understand in our across-the-table discussions the way that it goes in and the way it's going to save them money. And so we, we find that that value engineering that you see on the right-hand side is a huge way for us to bring value to, to these systems.